Well, we are in one heck of a predicament. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm in um, O'Clockney, Georgia, just north of Thomasville, a few miles. And uh, got here around 6 p.m. to get loaded. Thought I had an appointment, but I guess not. I guess it's first come, first serve. <clears throat> so, um, right now, there's about maybe three trucks in front of me, I think. So, um, ain't looking good. This morning, I had to run down to the TA. I should have used personal conveyance. <laughs> I didn't do it and it triggered my 14 hour clock to start. Once that starts, there's no stopping it until you do your 10 hour break. So, um, so that was at 7.53 a.m. which means at 9.53 p.m. my day is over until I do a 10 hour break. I think I can do it. Yeah, yeah, I can do a, I can do an eight hour break and, and uh, have enough drive time. So. I'd only have to take an eight-hour break in the sleeper, not the full 10, because I've already been off duty for two hours sitting here waiting to uh, get loaded, so. But uh, <clears throat> the problem is, I'm looking at my clock over here. I got two hours and 20 minutes before that drop-dead time gets here. So, hmm. That's past the time that they do shipping here. So they should theoretically have me out before that time. And I may have just I may have just enough time to make it to Thomasville and get part before my 14 hours is up. I don't know. It'll be close. Uh, I'm just wondering. See, I don't think I can. I know I'm, I'm pretty damn sure I can't use personal conveyance, even if I'm bobtailing uh, to go home. So be stuck in uh, Thomasville for eight hours. And uh, it sucks because I was wanting to get home tonight, you know, because I thought if I got home tonight by like eight o'clock, then by six o'clock Sunday morning, I'd be good to go. My 34 hour reset would be up. But here's the good news. The, the load going to North Carolina is a drop and hook up there. Which means as soon as I get up there, boom, drop it and go. I don't have to worry about anything. And it's only, I want to say, less than an eight hour drive up there. So I can leave the house at noon drive up there, be up there by eight o'clock at night, take a 10 hour break, which would put me at 6 a.m. the next morning. Boom, I'm good to go. So, uh, and by me not leaving the house until noon means, well, crap. I don't know, I'm still, I'm trying to work it out in my mind and I'm freaking out. Uh, so, uh, I don't know, this just sucks, it sucks, it really does. I wish you could see this ground. I took some pictures when it was daylight. So uh, what I'll do is I'll pop, try to pop up pictures in here so you can see them maybe. Um, mud everywhere, man. I need to wash my truck again. I just got it washed Thursday night. Nope, Wednesday night, Thursday morning. Yeah, Thursday morning, early Thursday morning. I got it washed in Brunswick, Georgia at the Blue Beacon. So uh, it looks like I'll be washing it at the house myself, which I wanted to do anyway. There was some grease I wanted to get off the uh, the chassis underneath uh, towards the back. So but it just sucks. Because if I park and do a 10 hour break from 10 o'clock at night, well, I said eight hour, then eight hour. 
eight hour break, uh, 10 o'clock at night, puts me at six o'clock in the morning, puts me getting to the house around seven, seven or seven thirty. Uh, if I get to the house by seven, then Sunday at 5 p.m. my 34 hour reset will be up which is fine I can wait and leave that late if I have to uh, that would be um, yeah I mean that still give me plenty of time to get up there and everything I just wouldn't be able to to um, to run that afternoon you know so but I was looking at a load that picks up on uh, Tuesday, going to Orwell, Ohio. There was another one going up to Cleveland, uh, but the one going to Orwell supposedly pays 384 a mile, which is really good. Short miles though, it's only, I think, less than 400 miles. So, um, but yeah. You know. It gets you in a high high area of, of a freight area. And I believe, I want to say, in that area there were loads coming back to... Hmm, I'm trying to remember. I have to go back and look. But there is another load that picks up the same day, Thursday, or, or Monday, I'm sorry, in Suffolk. Virginia going to Bosco Bell, Wisconsin, and doesn't pay super good. It only pays like I think maybe two sixty five a mile, uh, but it's a thousand something miles. So uh, twenty over twenty seven hundred. So you get up there, and there's a load picking up about one hundred and fifty miles or so away. Uh, in Minnesota coming back to Bainbridge Georgia baby like less than 30 miles from where I live hell yeah and that delivers Friday so uh, I'm looking at that because that's 30 boo 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 over 3200 and um so that'd be good money. Uh, the load I'm taking up this weekend, plus the load uh, uh, going up to uh, Wisconsin, plus the load uh, coming back to Bainbridge, it'd be, I'd, I'd, I'd be a good way to end the week because I'd be home on Friday and uh, then I could just park the truck until the next week when I got ready to leave out, you know. So that's what we may do. I'm kind of looking at doing that. Uh, that one load, it was a load going uh, to Wisconsin. That, uh, not Wisconsin, uh, the Ohio one, I think. Um, and then there was, um, uh, picks up there somewhere. Where is it picking up at? Hmm, I know there's one that picks up in Michigan, going back to Fort Lauderdale. I want to say it's somewhere in Illinois, I'm not sure. But anyway, it's going back to Lakeland, and it pays 3200 uh, 317 a mile. And uh, I'm kind of thinking about it. Problem is, it delivers on Monday, and that's my anniversary. So uh, I'm kind of leaning towards that one. And stopping off at the house, a little bit out of route, but stopping off at the house and picking up the little lady and taking her along with me. And uh, we'll go down to Lakeland, deliver that load first thing Monday morning. And then her grandmother, aunts, uncles, all live just north of Lakeland right there in Dade City and Zephyr Hills and uh, Bushnell. We can go by and see them. You know, maybe have dinner with them Sunday night. Uh, maybe spend a day with them some Monday and drive back up uh, Monday night to uh, 
to our house and uh, park the old truck and uh, start getting ready to go down there for uh, for Grandma's birthday. 90 years old. Grandma will be 90 years old. It's awesome. So we're going to do something for her, I hope. <sighs> I got to get caught up on everything. But anyway, so that's what's going on right now. We're sitting here, just pulled up, another trip back into the dock. So there's at least two waiting to get to the dock. And the rest of the docks are full with other trucks. So it's a mess, man. It's a mess. It's a mess. It's a mess. Ah, <laughs> uh, my boy Nathan. Gangsta, gangsta, G way. He's out there in um, Fort Worth doing his uh, securement class. Do that step deck, drop deck. Uh, b -b 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 what flatbed, all that kind of good stuff, making that big, 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 big money. I'm too fat to be climbing up there trying to strap stuff down, man. So uh, I'll let y'all have that, you and L Boogie. Y'all go at it. I'm gonna stick to the uh, dry van. I'll, I'll hold down the dry van side. Y'all take care of the other thing over there. And uh, anyway, I had to get out. I had to get my brogans. You know what brogans are, right? I had to dig out my brogans out of the closet and put them on. Cause the mud is so bad here. So I uh, got those on right now. I'm fixing to go back here and open up my trailer doors cause I see the guy in front of me just turned his, uh, open his up. So we're gonna go do that. And uh, I don't know, maybe you got sick of those ramblings. I don't know if you didn't reach down there and click that like button. Let me know you liked the video. Leave me a comment. Uh, and if you hadn't already done it, go ahead and subscribe. It's free. All right, but y'all take care. Love you. Mean it.